Hey you guys, this is a contest update you have till the very end of the month at midnight. And I'm not real particular about which midnight. I'll probably wait to, you know, it's the next day all around the world, I guess. <laughs> and certainly in America. But anyways, um, so yeah, you got two full days after this and then the rest of tonight to enter it. It ends on the 31st, like whenever it's over. The next day, I'll probably try to film the, uh, the actual drawing right after that. I'll probably do a wheel, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, anyways, so I was going to say, uh, this is probably the final contest update, most likely. So yeah, I've been really happy with all of the entries. And uh, like I said, anybody else that's still wanting to do it, you still got time. It's still basically two days, a little bit extra change here today. So yeah, uh, as long as it's still this month, you're good, basically. All right, and I also have a comic call for you guys, which I'm going to get right into, including, I'll go ahead and show this real fast first. I found for a dollar... This awesome uh, three-pack of comics. It says three out-of-print originals, collectible comics. I got it, uh, and it was originally from KB Toys. I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but it was like a somewhat famous toy store, and I know we had one in our local mall back then. I thought it was really awesome. But yeah, I'll show you. It actually has the uh, logo right there. Apparently, it was $2 back then. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. It's a three-pack of, it looks like, DC Comics. So, I'm going to open that up and show you guys what it is. All right. The first book that I opened up in that pack was Justice League Task Force, number 22. The one you saw on the front. I think this looks amazing by the uh, cover. I just love the colors on it. And, in general, it definitely looks like something I'd be interested in. I like just the Justice League in general. And yeah, this looks like a cool series. I don't think I have any of the rest of them yet, if I'm not mistaken. And also, uh, I forget what that character's name is, but I remember the Gray Man did a video on him, if I'm not mistaken, one of his villain shorts. It seemed like a pretty cool looking character from what I uh, heard on that. So yeah, that's the first of three. I think this looks really cool. All right, see so what else we got here. Next up is... Oh wait, there's two... <laughs> I noticed it was sliding for a second. Next up is The New Adventures of Superboy. Number 40. And it says, Welcome to Smallville, home of Superboy, and they're crossing it out. I think this looks really cool. I like Superboy quite a bit, including the other newer one as well. Uh, but I think this one's pretty cool, and I'm very glad to get this, actually. I think it looks really awesome with the yellow in the background. And, yeah, Superman Superboy is always cool to me, so I really like that. Oh, we also get an extra Dial H for Hero uh, story in it as well, so that's really cool. And last, but definitely not least, a book that I don't believe I ever got, but I looked at it a few times. I thought it looked really cool in stores. We have Two-Face, number 13. Or, uh, well, I think it's Two-Face Nightfall, I guess. Actually, I'm not sure if that's what it's titled or not, but I guess it is. Two-Face, 7 of 12 is what it says. So, I think it's number, uh, number 13 of Nightfall, perhaps. Maybe that's what we're looking for there. But either way, I think this looks really awesome. We get, of course, we got Two-Face on the cover. And yeah, this looks like something I definitely want to read. I love reading Batman a lot, as you well know, I'm sure by now. And in general, Two-Face has always been a really cool character. And one that I definitely like to read more of as well, to see the, the madness behind him. All right, now, that's what three books was in that. Let me show you, the you guys the rest of my haul. All right, now I've got the other books here to show you guys. So I got X-Men Annual number 8. I thought this looked really cool, and it was only $2, so I couldn't really pass that up as I'm trying to collect the X-Men run anyways. And yeah, it's really cool looking artwork. It's kind of different looking on this as well. But yeah, very excited to read this for sure. As you guys know, I'm sure, at this point, as much as I talk about the X-Men, and uh, I guess I put them in reverse order, but I also got the Uncanny X-Men Annual number 7, also for $2. Very cool artwork on this one. And it's pretty intriguing on the cover as well. I definitely want to check this one out soon to read that. But yeah, very happy to get two X-Men annuals. Also, I got for a dollar at my uh, local comic shop, Darkhawk number 24. I don't believe I had this one yet. I've been collecting the run. I think it also looks like an awesome looking uh, particular issue for, for that matter as well. But yeah, I was very excited to get this. I want to read through all of this. I'm pretty far into it. I forget exactly where off the top of my head. But I've been collecting this and reading Darkhawk. I like him a lot. So very happy to get this, like I said. Also, we uh, I found Eclipso number one, The Face of Vengeance. I guess that's what it says. <laughs> the sticker's coming up on the on the bag. But yeah, anyways. The Darkness Grows, 
you know, in his own series because he demanded it. I thought that was really cool to get the first issue of Eclipso. It's a character that I've heard about but didn't really know much about yet. And to actually get an opportunity to get the first one, I thought was really cool. So I was very happy to do that for sure. Also, I got Armor Wars number one. And, yeah, I, I thought that was really cool. I know there's, I think there's like a show called that that's coming out on Disney Plus, if I'm not mistaken. So I thought for that reason, it'd be cool to get the first issue of this just in case it becomes hard to find. And also, I just thought it looked cool also, as well and definitely be something I'd be interested in. I also got Conqueror of the Barren Earth, number one. It is a part of a four-part miniseries, as it says at the top. But yeah, I think this looks really cool. I've saw it uh, quite a few times, and a long time ago, I remember thinking it looked cool, and I may have gotten it for somebody else at one point. But I finally got an issue of it for myself when I saw it for a decent price. It's only, uh, I think it was actually 150 if I'm not mistaken. Or no, it may have actually been 3 I think that was the actual price on this one. But yeah, anyways, I thought it was worth it because I just wanted to read it and check it out anyways. And I think it looks cool. I really like the artwork on this. And uh, last but not least, I got for $4 the first four issues of Manhunter. Including uh, this one right here, of course, which is number one. Show all you guys all what all of them looks like, too. Manhunter number one, which I think looks really cool. I can't wait to check it out. It was a little bit roughed up, not in the best shape, but it was still all together and everything. And it's just a few, like, you know, like folds and stuff like that on the outside that I noticed. But it's all together and the cover's still attached. And, and it's not like any crazy stuff. It's just like definitely a little bit of a lower grade book in general but not too terrible so i'm okay with that being it was just a dollar because it's decent enough honestly anyways and it presents pretty well i think honestly but yeah anyways i was very happy to get this one and the other ones always seem to be in really good shape anyhow so yeah for for a dollar piece i thought that was really cool being something i want to check out so i also got manhunter number two right here manhunter looks like a really cool character so i really want to read these uh manhunter number three that's the actual sticker that, that told how much it was on it. So it's got a butcher knife, so it's pretty threatening. <laughs> and last but not least, we also have Manhunter number four with a very cool looking cover of him holding his mask. But yeah, I'm Alex McBlue. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.